We're here at Mo Central, the home of the U.S. Lawnmower Racing Association in Northbrook, Illinois, the nerve center for our operation. Well, day to day here at headquarters, we administer all the racing, we administer the association, everything from soup to nuts. One of the main things we do is work out bookings and logistics, so we get a lot of phone calls from fairs and festivals, racetracks across the country, and uh, we determine uh, what kind of race they want, whether it's a stable national series race or whether it's a, a local chapter or a club race, and then we put it out there and, and see where we mow from there. Well, lawnmower racing has a unique and rich tradition both here in the States and in England. The British Lawnmower Racing Association came on board in 1973, and we also know there's lawnmower racing in Australia, Luxembourg, Germany, France even. The oldest race here in the States is the famous 12 Mile Indiana race, which dates back to 1963. This right here is uh, the program from the very first ever Stable Nationals, September 5th, 1992, out at the Grays Lake, uh, Illinois Lake County Fairgrounds. I didn't sleep a wink the night before, I tell you. It was, uh, I remember like it was yesterday. I've been fortunate to be there before day one, since the summer of 91, when the crazy idea was hatched after we heard about the British Lawn Mow Racing Association. So I've been doing this for about, uh, it'll be 20 years this summer, and I feel just so fortunate to be able to do it. I'm not a racer, and that's what's so interesting. Uh, I'm not a mechanic per se, I'm not a racer, I'm a sports fan, sure. I'm more of a marketing promotion PR guy, and also smart enough to know that we need to surround ourselves with racers and mechanics and people in the uh, racing world. The knowledge and the mechanical ingenuity of the racers just increases every year. Just exponential knowledge and mechanical ingenuity amongst the racers. And of course, then the speeds go up accordingly. So as a sanctioning body and a rule-making organization, legislation, we need to constantly maintain we're being safe and we're doing things uh, in the best interest of safety and uh, common sense. 